Hello, hello, this is Slider Jesus with another episode of A Haunter's Confession. And today we have the very talented... Brandy Beast. And Brandy, where can everybody find you? I'm in Nashville, Tennessee, and I like to travel to as many conventions as I can fit in. So hit some conventions and you're sure to find me running around with horns on my head. There you go. What are your socials? Uh, the Brandy Beast, it's Brandy with an I, on Instagram, uh, Facebook, and I started TikTok. So yeah, any of those. Awesome, awesome. Well, we are here at the very legendary Woods of Terror, and this place is absolutely insane. If you've never been, I highly recommend. Um, so today, the topic we would like to talk about here um, is costumes, mm -hmm. masks, and um, kind of what goes into it. Um, some of the stuff, the you know, uh, just basically what goes into it, some of the, the pros and cons of it. Um, there are many, many, many mask makers out there, costume makers, and that seems like it's like somewhat of a hot topic these days that everybody wants to be a creator um they want to bring either you know kind of watered down ideas back to life a little bit or they want to reinvent the wheel a little bit which is always entertaining you know it, it really really is people are just non-stop coming up with these ideas you know and and, and a lot of them aren't even like halloween related no. you know i mean i see a lot of po <laughs> pop post pop delictic Oh, stuff yeah. yeah super mad max yeah, yeah absolutely mm -hmm. a lot of mad max stuff going on these days and it's just so cool um so um anyways we have an absolute expert here on all of this stuff so tell us oh don't be shy. come on you've earned it you've earned it <laughs> thank you so tell us a little bit what goes into making an original mask for okay instance. sure a lot of people ask about the ideas how do the ideas start um, I'm a little bit crazy because I have a lot of things swirling in my head. I'm inspired all the time. So for me, it's a matter of just getting a little bit of a theme and going absolutely haywire. Someone says pumpkins and it's like, okay, I have 10 ideas. Um, for other people, it's seeing shapes in clouds. That's okay. kind of my way of doing it oh. too. If somebody, again, gives me a theme or a material, I'll mm -hmm. see designs and shapes in that physical substance okay. and I run with it instead of forcing it to what I want it to do. Oh, that's even better. Which is really fun and I highly recommend playing like that if you mask makers out there haven't tried it. Stop forcing it to be perfect. Let the chaos happen and you'll be much happier with oh, your design yeah. later. That's my secret. That's my secret sauce. Love that. Um, but as far as technical stuff goes, um, don't get discouraged with the process. It is a long <laughs> process. It is an expensive process when you're starting. So save up your money, buy a kit, like Monster Makers was my first kit. They gave you the armature head, the clay, the molding materials. You got this for a couple hundred bucks, whole kit ready to go. YouTube is a great friend. Uh. Um, I know Stan Winston School, a lot of you guys have tried that. That's a huge resource. I'm happy when I'm not busy to also give pointers and tips, but um, there's a learning curve. That's what I think a lot of people don't realize. Yeah. It's not just, oh, I sculpted and it's perfect mm -hmm. and it's done. Mm -hmm. Like, no, mold making can take that sculpture of four weeks and trash it real fast. Sure. But if, yeah, if there's more technical questions, feel free to go specific because it's a long, Oh God! There's many yeah. steps, guys. There's many steps. Yeah. No, and, and I know there is, and I just wanted you to briefly yeah. kind of gloss over a lot of that okay. stuff because... I mean, honestly, I, I, I'm somewhat familiar mm -hmm. in the process of a lot of this stuff, and I can't even begin to, like, fathom how you do this just over and over and it's over fun. again. And <laughs> I, I also, I want to, I, I've dipped my hands a little bit into costume making mm -hmm. and uh, gear making for uh, sliding stuff, right? Ooh, yeah. Um, I was uh, part owner in Rough Contact uh, Spark Productions oh, for a couple of years. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, the one thing that I ran into a lot that really, really, really irked me mm -hmm. is, and, and this is just me, maybe sure. you feel different about it. Somebody would message me like, hey, can you make this do that? And they would just ask for these outrageous things. Uh -huh. And sometimes it was way out of the realm of what I do. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. and, and, and like, even if you kind of entertain that idea a little mm -hmm. bit and you start playing around with it, you message back and forth and sometimes you're just like, no, that's not what I meant. And right. it's kind of like, well, you got the wrong guy. Right, right. You know? And I have run into that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and, and that can be kind of discouraging a little bit. And sometimes it it's like, that messes with your imagination, I it feel. It does, it does. Well, you know? again, if I say I use that chaotic technique mm -hmm. and I'm running with the material, now if somebody says, you have to use pink feathers. Yeah. Okay, well, I can do it. Am I comfortable <laughs> doing it? Maybe not as comfortable. Yeah. It's definitely one of those portfolio pieces that's in there but it's not the front of my portfolio sure. 
So, I mean, that's that's a very real problem as well when you're starting out and you're trying to make a business out of it because yeah, you think, I yeah, have yeah. to take whatever comes my way. Yeah, I gotcha. And, uh... You can talk on that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes, sir. All right. No, business no, calls, be... we're busy around here, guys. <laughs> to be continued. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, anyways... We're gonna we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, yeah. Maybe we'll do another one here. But okay, one thing I always like to do, kind of here, mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna name. Are you gonna give me? I'm gonna ask you You're a question. <laughs> Sorry, we're busy, guys. I'm gonna give you a question, mm -hmm. and I want you to give me your three top answers. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You ready? Oh God. Do it quickly. Yeah. It, it's like it's the more you the think. Your head, yeah. The more you think about it, the worse it is. Okay. Okay. What are your three most cherished albums of oh, all times? God. Cherish, not so much what you listen to right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, immediately, this is weird. It's soundtracks, movie soundtracks. I love movie soundtracks. <laughs> um, grew up on things like Legend, like Tim Curry's Legend, nice. Jurassic Park, American Werewolf in London, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, super soundtrack nerd right here. Love wow. it. Wow. <laughs> that totally floored me. So, not like <laughs> Nevermind or like. You know. Oh, I listened to everything, but okay. soundtracks were like the wow. the first thing that got me as a kid. I was like, yes, look at this. This makes me feel creeped out, and I love it. And such a first. <laughs> Most people are going to name off, you know, like, I, I don't know, Sleep Thriller. Or, right now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Wow. Don't get me wrong. I love Sleep Token. Oh, I love yeah. Thriller, and I love a, a wide variety of music, okay. but soundtracks were my first inspiration. <sighs> well, there you have it. All right. <laughs> I, I, I'd say she, she got me on that one. That's awesome. Well, anyways, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Listen, um, this has been a lot of fun, and I really, really enjoy doing these guys. Yeah. So if you can, click the like and subscribe bullshit. You know how that works. So I don't mean to bore everyone with it. Uh, thank you again for having me. Thank you for the honor. Yes, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Take care.